Hi, I'm Rosie. Welcome to my kitchen. Sometimes you make a recipe that has delicate fruits or pieces of vegetables or meat that you don't want broken up into the rest of the ingredients. In that case, you need to fold the ingredients together so that you keep the delicate fruits or delicate pieces of meat from breaking down and becoming a mushy mess in your recipe. Folding is a technique that is easily learned and sometimes you just have to remind yourself to take your time and to be patient. The best example I can give you of folding is in an angel food cake. Angel food cake consists of egg whites that have be been beaten stiff, which is here, and flour. And you have to incorporate the flour into the egg whites without beating those egg whites down and losing the volume you have. Otherwise, you won't have a light, airy angel food cake. So I've already beaten my egg whites. They're nice and stiff. They're sitting up really nice and I have lots of volume. So now I'm going to add the flour. And it's very simple. You just incorporate it all around. Doesn't matter where it goes. Now I could use a spatula for this, but I'm going to use a spoon so that you can see a technique that will help you remember how to do this. The important thing to remember is that the center of the spoon is going to face the center of the bowl all the time. And I'm going to go around the outside of the bowl, I'm going to take my spoon down the outside of the bowl and come back up. And again, my inside of my spoon, the inside of my spoon is to the inside of my bowl. And then I'm going to turn my bowl a little bit and I'm just going to keep all the way around, incorporating that flour into the egg whites as I turn and fold. I go down the bottom and come up and the bottom and come up. And it takes a little time, but you just have to remember to be patient. As long as you keep the center of your spoon facing the center of the bowl, you will, and you take your time, you will not lose the volume in your egg whites, and you will incorporate the flour. Now you can see, I'm almost there. There's still bits of flour that still need to be incorporated, so I'll, but I haven't lost any volume of my egg whites. So turn and fold. Turn and fold. Turn and fold. And now I've just about gotten my egg whites so that my flour is well incorporated. You can see it's nice and fluffy still. And that is going to make an excellent angel food cake. I'm Rosie. Thank you for coming in my kitchen today. You can find my recipe for angel food cake on newbiesinthekitchen.com as well as other videos that will teach you great cooking skills, lots of good recipes, and fun people to share, share ideas with.